All right, wait, let's look at uh, PSG. Um, I, I actually bought PSG a few weeks ago, um, and, and I was thinking it looked really good, and it looked really good to me because we we were starting to kind of form a daily apex here, um, and and, uh, and and also a very bullish pattern, you know, as far as moving averages go on the structure and the BART potential back up. And I never held it. I, I took profits, you know, my, my patience is not very good sometimes. Um, it should be it should be better, but I, I don't know. I, I don't really like to hold. Um, I rather trade. Um, but again, that's 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 just my personality, you know. But I, if I, I was buying down here somewhere or wherever it was, you know, and look at it now, um, of course, that would have been way better to hold. At least, I should have held at least 30% of it. I know it's not up 300% now. It's only up uh, 170% or whatever, roughly. You know, so after uh, a pretty bad rejection at the double top, it might be best to give it a few days. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I still like this. Um, the, like, you can see here, there, there's only one test of the highs. Um, if, if we got a spike here, look at the spike here, and we got a second test of the highs. Again, look at the spike here, we got a second test of the highs. Look at the spike here, we got a second test of the highs. We got this spike, we, we dropped back down, and then we ran up to new highs and got another test. Um, so the, there, there should be, whatever way we work it out here, there should be some sort of retest up into these highs, you know, which, which can be very nice profits. I mean, that's a 30% bounce to there. Can it even go to new highs? Well, if you're talking new highs, you can go 30, 50% in, in that case. Funding is still negative here, implying that this can still break out and run to the upside. All moving averages now underneath price, right? This is a beautiful situation. So it, it is implying that these dips down here should um, should end up sending the price higher between the moving averages, between funding, between one of the stronger coins in the market. It's beautiful to see coins back at the all-time highs. You know, people were uh, uh, really afraid, you know, all down here. And it really looks like a lot of coins can can start doing this as well. You know, we start breaking up bullish and, and moving up. There's a coin I want to show you here. And if you look here at Cake, right? Look at Cake. Now there's no red 200 moving average on the chart yet, but it's uh, well, it's not it's not going to form yet. But you can see this sort of structure. We came up and we can back back test the, the white 100, and then we took off. Cake could do something similar here. Cake is putting in the uh, Almost an identical formation in a way, except there is no red 200 moving average. That that might be a difference that may not make it play out. Um, but overall, I really like this. If Cake is going to consolidate here, this could really run. Sorry, I don't know if I pressed pause or I didn't press pause there. I'm just going to say that again uh, in case you didn't catch that on the video. Like if this was me trading this, I would uh, wait for the new three day. I would let a small dip down and then see if it, if it flips green. And after that, I would buy with my stop below the three day candle and see if this can rip to the upside. This may not be done yet. This could actually be forming a giant cup some sort of cup and handle before ripping to the upside.